Greg Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. And what we want to talk to you about today is the Lowrance Elite TI and some of the topics that have been coming up on the message boards concerning the touchscreen. So you just come home with your brand new Elite TI and you want to play with it, get used to it, run it in simulator mode, maybe take some waypoints from your old units and put it on your new unit so that you're ready to take it to the water. So a lot of guys will hook it up to a battery. This is a 12 volt, seven amp hour battery. This is what a lot of kayak guys use. It's a smaller battery. It's easy to transport around in their kayaks and stuff. And it has plenty of power to run this unit. So what happens is you go to touch the accept screen and you get no response. And you're thinking, great, my touch screen's broken. Well, your touch screen isn't broken. What happens is, is it's really just a ground loop issue. The unit is not completely grounded because it's setting up on a table. It's not making contact with the ground. There's a couple of easy things you can do to solve that. The first thing that you could do is you could just simply touch the ground post on the battery. When I do that, you can see the touch screen is responsive. Another thing you can do is you can just take the battery and simply set it on the ground. I set it on the ground the touch screen is responsive. I pick it up back off the ground. You can see the touch screen again has become non-responsive. So what it is is if you're using this unit in a non-marine environment, when you have the transducer connected and in the water, it completes that ground loop. That's why your touch screen works just fine on the water. So again, like I said, a couple things that we can do. Another thing that we can do that usually solves that issue is if you take your transducer and plug your transducer into the unit, it gives it enough of a ground loop that you can see your screen becomes responsive. So if you plugged in your transducer and your touch screen is still non-responsive, go ahead and take your transducer and set it on the ground to complete that ground loop. So those are just a couple of the easy things that you can do to make sure your touch screen works when you're in a non-marine environment. Another thing that you can do is if you don't want to use a battery and, and use these solutions is if you use a commercially produced power supply. With a commercially made power supply, it's properly grounded and your touch screen functions just like you think it should. Mm -hmm.